Hello Leo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how this person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So if you're coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this person feel about Leo? Okay, so your energy there, Leo. We got the strength card. This person's intimidated by you. I'm getting that right away, Leo. So there's, we'll figure out if this is someone you already know or someone new coming in, but this person feels like they have to like really muster up some courage here around you. You just sort of have this like presence about you um, that you, it's not necessarily that you are dominating, but you just, you have this confidence that can be intimidating for people at times. Um, we got the Knight of Swords. We got the Three of Wands. And we got the magician, Gemini energy. <clears throat> this person wants to talk to you. This person has a lot they want to say to you, actually. It's like they've been waiting for this right time to come in, is what I'm getting with this three ones magician. Like, if you if there's no one in your life right now, I feel like this is someone who's been waiting for someone like you, especially with that confidence piece. You might be, you know what I'm getting right now? There's a scene from that show Euphoria where Maddie is saying confidence is 90% of the time it's like fake anyway, but just pretend, you know, people don't know if it's real or fake. Um, if you're a fan of euphoria, you, euphoria, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so even one of my point is, even if there's times, Leo, where you don't feel confident, this person just sees you as exuding it. Like it's like you're, you're glowing all the time. This person wants to come in and talk to you. I'm gonna pull on that Knight of Swords. But they've been trying to manifest someone like you here. If this is someone you already know, I feel like they've just been trying to figure out the best way to come forward here. Like use all they can to um, muster up this courage, but also come correct. Come in a way that you will receive well. Um, because again, this person just feels like they have to come a certain way towards you here, Leo. Even if you're sitting there like, I don't feel confident at all. You know, there's days or weeks where I just don't feel it. Like this person does not see you in that light at all. So um, they feel like they have to, yeah, bring a certain energy when they come towards you. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Oh. We have Justice and the Two of Wands. Could be done with the Libra. Yeah, this person wants to talk to you. They, they This could be a truth being revealed, right? It's almost like... I just get this energy of like they've been waiting for the right time. So let me just enter, try to see if I can tell me about justice. Like, what is this? See how the cards are just flying? It's the moon. So Pisces energy here. I'm just get obviously it's going to be different for all of you. But whatever this person wants to tell you, they're they're keeping it quite buried, right? There's certain energies I can pick up on. There's certain feelings I can pick up on. Um, but if this person is protecting their energy, you know, saving whatever they want to say to you for themselves, I respect that, right? And I feel like that's what's coming through here is that there's a lot more to the picture, to the situation that the person wants to tell you about. It's not coming through for me, so I'm not going to try and guess. Um, and again, I'm also going to be respectful that it just feels like this person wants to be the one to tell you. So, um... They just have, there's a lot on their mind. There's a lot on their mind that, they're, they, that they want to say to you here. 
it's almost like keeping it in has felt has made them feel very unbalanced has made them feel very like out of sync a little bit almost um maybe if you already know this person like you could have noticed that they've been acting weird lately or something like that so it's like they need to get this off their chest tell me about the magician queen of wands queen of swords tell me more king of cups there's a lot of people here tell me more three of swords yeah there's 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 someone else here there's at least one other person here, Leo. So perhaps this is because this person's already involved with someone, right? Someone they've become more distant with, more cold with. Someone they feel like they can't share their real feelings to here. Um, it's almost like they're trying to handle that situation the best way that they can. They're trying to like, how do I put this? Um... They want to make sure all aspects are covered. So this situation, whatever it is here, it's like this person wants to make sure that, you know, uh, if there's a financial aspect, they want to make sure that's taken care of. If this person is feeling still emotionally, you know, upset or whatever, this person wants to make sure they have conversations. If they're, you know, um, just feeling down and out, this person wants to sort of, try and fix that in a way it's like they're trying to cover all bases so it's like okay so once i do this the situation is is done because it feels like this person is like is distant from it with this queen of swords um but i'm also getting that they're trying to cover all their all their bases we have a wand a sword a cup here the magician right i just feel like this person is trying to i don't know how, i don't know how do i put i hope i'm explaining it in the way it's coming through um this could be like like family that's involved with the situation and this person is like it's almost like i need to please everyone so if this person's upset that i did this okay let me handle that this person's upset that i said that in that way okay let me talk to them this person doesn't like them doing it. okay i'll fix that like it's like doing their rounds almost i don't know how else to put that so interesting uh, tell me about the three of swords, the devil. Yeah. It's just, it's Capricorn. Oh, I got chills. It, it's something they felt tied to. It's something that they felt obligated to. It's something that they felt like they couldn't leave. Um, it's something that they felt. It, it was like, a, it was blocking them from a lot of different things here. So this could be why this person is waiting. I know this is kind of like their actions a little bit, but like how they feel is like they see this situation, whatever this situation is for what it is, is what I'm getting here. Very toxic, very dysfunctional. So maybe it's just all family. It doesn't have to be a romantic partner that they're trying to get away from, right? It could be family members. It could be like two sisters and a brother here because I have two queens and a king, right? It could be that you know, like a mom, a sister, and a brother, a mom and a dad and a sister, something like that, right? Obviously take it as it resonates, but it just, yeah, you see the king of swords at the bottom. It's just like this person feels like they just have to like cut those ties, but there's a lot of different aspects of it. It's layered. Um, this is so interesting because this person's trying to make it work with you, but they're also trying to like make this situation as less, uh, as less chaotic and as less messy as they can here, basically. This feels complicated, and that's probably why the moon came out too. This person wants to talk to you, but there's so much here. There's a lot of people involved. There's a lot of in intricacies. Like it feels like a like I'm seeing like a spider web, right? There's so much to it, and they they could have felt like they were caught in this web. But if you think about like a bug getting caught in a web, they can't just like wriggle free, right? Like they. I mean, some of them do, but it's complicated and there's all those layers and there's all those pathways and like, you know, um, so yeah, it's like this person felt very, anything else about that devil? Six of wands. It, it could have been something in the public too, where a lot of, maybe this is like a family business that they're going, they're moving themselves away from. Right, maybe a lot of people just like came to know about their relationship, whatever it is. It just feels like they're trying to move away from it. 
but there's a lot, there's a lot, I've got to be honest, there's a lot they're not telling you here, Leo. It, it feels like for right now, it could even be a legal situation. This is interesting. Uh, yeah, so this person definitely wants to talk to you. <laughs> Let's see their actions. They're telling me the other deck already, which is interesting. I don't usually go to the other deck until intentions. Let's see. I already feel like for some of you, you're like, this is too messy. You're like, I don't want to deal with, it. it's just too messy, right? Which for some of you, that's the case. But for others, it's, you know, everyone's on their own journey. It's, it's not a matter of right or wrong. It's, this is your journey. You know what's best for you. Um, but I am getting that right away. I just heard messy. I just keep hearing messy. Um, what is this person's actions towards Leo in the next two to four weeks? Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions? Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles. You know, I gotta tell you, Six of Cups. This could be someone you have history with. Someone who's feeling very nostalgic. Someone who's feeling like they, they want to get back to those good times here with you, but I'm really not liking this Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Tell me about those fives. Look out for fives as well. We have the Hierophant. Tell me more. Taurus Energy. Two of Swords. You know what it is? I feel like this person wants you. I feel like they do want um, a higher level of commitment here with you. Maybe this is like, you know, wanting to get married, but their family disagrees or something like that, right? It could be like traditions getting in the way, maybe religion or culture here. This person, it, I have to be honest with you, the way they're, the way they're approaching the situation, they're coming off like they're playing games with you. Like they say one thing or do another, or like they could even be like self-sabotaging, like pushing you away or like, you know, um, not letting you get too close here, right? With this five of pentacles, like it just feels like they kind of leave you, they kind of leave you feeling like, what the hell, what's going on, right? Um, tell me about the six of cups. Oh, the empress. So you could have children with this person, maybe not. I see the five of cups at the bottom. Um... <sighs> There's no better than the Empress, right? I feel like this person knows this. So if this is someone you strongly feels like Six of Cups, you have history with this person. If this is someone who, it, it's like they lo they know what they lost once they lost it. But I don't even feel like at, at the beat, like, so say, I'm just gonna give you a scenario. Say you broke up a year ago. I feel like for the first few months, this person was acting like everything was fine. They were good. They were back to whatever situation that was. Maybe it's friends, family, a lover, whatever. And then time passes and I don't even feel like it was that much time, maybe like a couple months after breakup and they're already starting to realize like, whoa, like I miss Leo. Leo was it. Leo was the best of the best. Leo was the one, right? Doesn't mean you have to be a female with the Empress energy. It's just this person just, they miss your warmth. They miss your uh, comfort, your nurturing nature about you, your you're very um, understanding. They just feel comfortable with you. Again, you could have children with this person, but you don't have to. Um, so there's a there. They just want to get back to that, but it's like they're still playing games here. They're still indecisive. So if the one thing you wanted was marriage, for instance, and this person didn't give it to you, they're still indecisive about that. So it's like, well, then what are we doing? We're gonna see their intentions because I feel like that's gonna give us a better idea. But this person's been thinking about coming towards you here. Hmm. So it's like, it's like, tell me about the Five of Swords. Ace of Wands. So this person is definitely going to reach out here. There's definitely going to be maybe even some flirty messages, maybe some, you know, uh, comments about you've been looking good or whatever it might be. Um, they might even, you know, try to make a move on you in some way, but they're still playing games. They're still indecisive. They're still going to make you feel like you're left out in the cold here. And honestly, I, <laughs> this makes sense why I was getting like messy, messy, messy. Cause I feel like you, you feel like this person's just messy. The situation is just messy. It's like, I'm not repeating this cycle. All right. But this person wants you, they can't stop thinking about you. So definitely expect them to reach out, but the way they're going to even come about it is more about like physical attraction, 
and like that chemistry rather than I miss you, I love you, or like let's talk, right? It's gonna be more about the physical. Let's start over. Um, yeah, for those of you who are like, there's there's no one from my past, this, there's, there's no way this could be an ex, aces can represent new, right? Uh, or they do represent new. So I feel like for those of you with an ex, this is your ex coming in with new energy, but for those of you who are like, there's no way this is an ex, um, it feels like someone coming in, they're going to be very, like I said, very flirty, very sexual, very all about the physical. They're not going to be decisive about whether they want a commitment or not. And you're going to feel like this person's playing games. They might also have history with someone that they have children with, or just like a mother figure, some sort of feminine energy in their life that is still very present. Um, and it, it, it even coming underneath this devil and all these people and the uh, three of swords it feels like this person can be manipulative at times. I'm not going to lie. So take it as it resonates, whether it's an ex or not. It strongly feels like it could be it's someone you already have history with. But let's see this person's intentions. What does this person want? What is this person's intentions with Leo? Page of Wands, the Hermit, Virgo energy. If you don't hear their sign, though, it doesn't mean they're not here. The Fool, Aries energy, Death, Rebirth, Scorpio energy. They definitely want to flirt. They definitely want your attention. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Look at all these majors coming out. I see the Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups at the bottom. Yeah. This person wants to flirt. They want your attention. But it just feels like it kind of never gets, gets off the ground with this person. It feels like, okay, if I... Like, they want to take this risk. They want to come towards you. They want to, like, you know get you interested again or get you interested period depending on if it's an ex or someone new but it doesn't really go anywhere it kind of feels like this person will will, will say say things like just wait just give me time or like i'm just not ready yet like that they kind of are always pushing it right i feel like this person could ghost they kind of just like go mia sometimes this person's kind of I see why <laughs> I'm understanding the messy comment more and more because it feels like this person's all over the place. I have to be honest with you, Leo. It doesn't feel like this person knows what they want and it changes a lot what they want. I'm surprised the Knight of Wands didn't come out because I feel like this person's very in and out. It does feel like there's some situation they're trying to get away from here, but it, it I don't even know if they're still, we'll see in the potential what comes out because it feels like they could still be connected to those energies. Um... Yeah, so we have Libra, Pisces, Capricorn, Gemini, um, Taurus, Libra again, Virgo, Aries, Scorpio, Sagittarius. But if you don't hear their sign, it doesn't mean they're not here. What is the potential outcome with Leo and this person? Three of Cups, Nine of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. I just feel like there's a lot of like unknown with this person, a lot of anxiety, a lot of... Um, that devil card wanted to come out. A lot of not knowing, a lot of what ifs, a lot of mm, just not knowing. Yeah, and the moon. The moon is like mystery, right? It's like there's so like, so this person remains mysterious. They don't tell you a lot and it's the same thing that's coming out here. So this might be you just like focusing on your work because I feel like this person wants reunion with you. Um, but it causes a lot of anxiety. Like even if when this person comes back in, there's a lot of like, are they still talking to that person? Is their family still disapproving? Are their friends still, you know, running around doing BS? Like there's, so, there's a lot of like, because this person keeps a lot to themselves. And I have to acknowledge it here. There's like no feelings and no communication from this person. It kind of feels like this person is like, they're all about the lust. They're all about the like physical. They're all about the, it's almost like validation. Your presence gives them validation. Your response gives them validation. I'm not loving this. I don't know. It seems like so if this person comes in and they seem like they really want to talk to you and like, you know, there's some situation they're dealing with and whatever, it just feels like there's too many layers here. It feels, uh, and they're indecisive. That's how you're going to know who this person is. They're indecisive about whether they want something committed or not. 
So if that's what you want, if you're like, I for sure want something committed, Leo, then stick by that because I feel like, and I won't be surprised if your advice is something like the Queen of Swords because I feel like setting boundaries with this person is going to be really important. Um, yeah, so I just see a lot of anxiety coming from this, a lot of unknowns, a lot of sleepless nights. How will Leo know who this is? How will Leo know who this person is? You see these cards just flying? We have the High Priestess, could be a Pisces. We have the Ten of Pentacles, could have been someone you had some sort of long-term relationship with. We have the Six of Pentacles, but you know what? I feel like this person gives to multiple situations. I feel like that's what I was kind of getting here. Like, I feel like they kind of feel like they have to please everyone here with this Six of Pentacles. Um, this person could be really mysterious to you where they don't share a lot with this High Priestess. They kind of just, they might just go silent. Like, you might ask them questions and they literally just go silent and they don't answer or they give you the silent treatment. Um, I feel like intuitively you'll also know who this is. I feel like this person gives to a lot of different situations, whether it's friends that they're trying to please or family, or like I said, maybe it is a romantic partner. Um, you got those queens and that three of swords, so it definitely could be. They feel obligated to it, but they're still not doing anything about that, right? So I feel like this person... They could use money too, like maybe like financially they're supporting a lot of different situations. I don't know. They could be a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It just feels like they're, they're, their eggs are not all in one basket. There's multiple baskets. Any advice for Leo? Any advice for Leo, please? The Emperor, Aries energy, the Three of Swords. The three of wands you're getting three three do not let this person do not let yeah nine of pentacles just be on your own right now i see eight of cups at the bottom of that and the king of swords behind that distance yourself from this person because i feel like I, and here's the thing i always say in my readings leo like again this is your journey this is your choice you know sometimes we're, we find ourselves in those situations where it's like even though logically people around us could see you could be watching tarot readings that are telling you like this person could will be causing a lot of like anxiety or pain. It's messy, whatever. But there's still something in you that's like, but I don't know. I just I feel like I still got to like give them a chance or like talk to them or whatever it might be. That might be part of your journey, right? That might be how you learn whatever you need to learn from this person, right? So no one's here to tell you what to do. But I'm telling you, your advice right now is saying you know how this is kind of going to go with this person. It's like, how do I put this also? And what I was going to say before was don't let this person see any heartbreak or any pain because I feel like that's giving them the validation exactly what they were looking for. I feel like being on your own and focusing on yourself, being in that boss energy of like, you know, it's not that I don't need anyone because we all need someone, right? We're humans, we're wired for connection, but it just feels like giving this person that's this, it feels like the satisfaction of knowing that you're hurt is your spirit guides are advising you not to do that basically is what I'm getting here. Don't let them know that you're hurt. Don't let them know because you might be tempted, for instance, to be like, this is what you've done. This is how it's hurt me. You know, don't you care? Or what do you have to say about that? And again, I feel like this person just goes silent or they might just ghost. And for them, in a weird sort of twisted way, I feel like it's, yes, like Leo, I got Leo's attention or like I made Leo hurt. Like, I didn't know I had the power to do that because they see you as this very confident, very sure, very you know, brave, resilient, strong person. So if they can get you to feel any sort of pain, it's like, it, it makes them feel better. I don't like that. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like you kind of already know what to do, Leo, especially if you've been dealing with this person. But maybe this was just like the confirmation you needed or something I said was like, yeah, I kind of knew I needed that or you know, that's exactly what I was thinking. And it came through like the, the guides or the, whoever I'm with right now is like very, uh, <laughs> I just heard drill sergeant, but I, you know, 
I don't feel scared of, you know, because drill sergeants can be kind of scary or they can be sort of like intimidating or like, I don't like them. It just, it almost feels like they're like, they're saying like they need, they need to hear it. They need to hear it in that way. They need to hear it in that way. So, you know, cause sometimes we can be in situations. And like I said, if we have people around us who are like, you know, I support you, whatever you do. Like but sometimes we need that person to be like, don't effing do it. Don't, what are you doing? Right. So, um, uh, maybe, maybe this is it. I don't know, but, uh, your guides are, I mean, again, maybe you've already been feeling that, but your guides are coming in strong here. Partying, time with friends, having fun, happily single, living in the moment. So I'm getting a couple of things from this. I feel like this is you, again, just focusing on yourself, having fun, doing you, being on your own. But I also get that this person, no matter how many situations they're giving to, they're just still doing what's best for them. They're kind of just having a good old time. They're putting in multiple baskets, like I was saying. Um, they're not committed anywhere. We got old school, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So this can talk about like, if you see like a tape, if a tape is playing over and over and over again, you kind of learn to memorize it and then you kind of know what's coming next, right? We can do this with our own thoughts of, oh, I deserve someone who doesn't commit. I deserve someone who makes me anxious or, and we, those thoughts come from like past experiences right? So it, there might be something that needs to be shifted here because then you did also get the butterfly evolving in growth, next phase, healing inner child and releasing the past, right? And then I see Kia on a ring on, a bottom, on the bottom, many options, unconventional, one night stand, string along. I see heartbroken underneath that, backstabbing beneath that, right? So I just feel like there's kind of this lingering sort of negative energy around this person. And maybe you are, oh, look at that. This one was also flipped in the deck. Cutting out separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. So I feel like it's up to you to stop the pattern because whether this is a person from your past coming back and repeating, or this is a new energy that reminds you of the past, it's either way, it's time to break the cycle is what I'm getting. They said no kipper. And I know that's so hard, Leo. I'm sending you so much love and light and so much like power and positivity. Just know that your guides are rooting for you. Because whoever's here today, I'm telling you, they are, uh, they're, they're, they're strong. There's, there's strong, strong energy. Um, I just heard ancestors. So it could even be, you know, if you have a loved one that's passed that you were really close to, that was kind of like that, that voice of like, come on, like get it together. Like this is what, oh, I'm getting chills. This is what you need to do. Um, they're with you. Oh, I'm getting a lot of chills. Yeah. Um. First of all, again, sending you so much love, so much light. Um, they're with you. I feel like I can take on the world right now. So that's how your guides, that's how your your team, your angel team, your ancestors, whoever it might be, that's how they want you to feel. Hidden messages from this person. I have lost all control of my life. I keep messing up. So this person is just all over the place, like I was saying. And then look at that. I want to feel that way again. I strongly feel like for a lot of you, this is someone from your past here coming back, wanting that warm, nurturing empress energy again, um, thinking that they can just come back whenever they want, right? And that's another, that's another piece of it too. This person thinks they can come back whenever they want. We have, I have lost faith in you and cannot see a future with you anymore. This might even be you, but maybe this is what this person said to you, right, before. No one else makes me feel the way you do, but I'll take it to the grave before I tell you. Tell me this person, like, like I said, there's no communication here. There's no emotion. There's no, there's just that lust, right? That physical. Um, I feel like this person knows you're the best of the best, but they're not going to tell you that. It's too late. I moved on and do not wish to reconnect. This might, again, might be you. I am not available and I can't stop thinking about you. So also very conflicting right back and forth two of swords indecisive i'm not available i can't do this but i can't stop thinking about you you know i moved on i don't want to connect but you know let's get back together kind of deal it's like what do you want right and again i feel like their intentions is person it's just like they want to flirt they want to get your attention here they're curious about what you're up to but it never really gets off the ground with this person 
We got take action. So the action might even be blocking this person or just, you know, removing them from you, from your energy. We got if you believe. We got not the right time and communicate clearly. So I feel like for some of you, um, like I said, there might be that urge to be like, this is what you've done. This is how you've hurt me. This is what's been going on with me. And there's like this urge to tell them. I just feel like communicate that clearly, but it might not be the right time or maybe right before it wasn't the right time. You'll know, use your intuition. That's what I'm getting with that. Um, take action and if you believe, like I said, take whatever necessary actions and like you've got this because I feel like your spirit team is right behind you. So believe that whatever can happen can happen and it will. And look at this growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness and discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So this might be, you know, it's definitely serving your growth. This situation, this uh, person, I feel like there's a need for discipline here because I feel like this person is tempting too. With that devil and that magician too, this person can be very manipulative. They can be very charming. They can be very convincing, right? Um, we got conclusions are within reach and this one wanted to come out and prosperity lies ahead, Taurus energy. I said one more, you've got this, Leo. Things are changing for you, especially if you believe. And we got a time for healing, yeah. A time to heal and the best way to heal and sometimes the only way to heal is on our own and your advice with that nine of pentacles is the the card of being on your own right being single doing things um by yourself right um we got exchanging gifts number 27 and by the book number 11 so let me read these for you Twenty-seven exchanging gifts. Be careful what you pray for because you just might get it. And then you realize you don't want to face the hefty price tag that comes with it. You may find yourself in a situation you've always desired, but know you will have to walk away from or even fail at it because you can't or won't pay the dues that it asks of you. If you want to be a famous mu musician, you have to practice your craft every day. If you want to be a millionaire, you have to be responsible for managing the money and paying the taxes. Even a windfall bears a cost. It's okay though, because spirit will help you achieve balance over time. Another message here reminds you that being only the giver and not the receiver plays out in many relationships in your life where you find yourself in victim mode, in a codependent dynamic or holding on to a false sense of control. Others may push you to continue to prove yourself. The time has come to distance yourself from this kind of imbalance. Being aware of both the need for give and take is the first step to your true destiny. It's all good and getting better. Not only can you handle this, but you can flourish as a result of it. So maybe this is the type of person who's just a take, take, taker, right? Even if it's just your energy, they don't have to be physically taking something from you. They can be taking your energy, taking up your time, which is valuable, right? If you're always giving, you are that very nurturing energy. Um, this person wants that back, but if they can't give to you the same way you're giving to them, you know, um, just something to think about. We got now is the time for a real change in consciousness as you are incited to revolt. Challenge the structures that are limiting authentic progress. It is not enough to rebel in small ways. This is a call to revolution. Focus on what you really want to achieve, regardless of whether it feels so far outside the box that the established order may reject it. Genius, invention, and transformation are rarely comfortable and less likely to be accepted by the mainstream. It may be time for you to say no to the way of your group, to take a stand, and to make real changes. It could be that the structure of your inner world is alerting you to the need for a complete overhaul. This is a time for transformation, so let go of the fear of change. Your intuition will lead you through the darkness. There is no turning back now. Trust that light will dawn. Epiphanies will surely lead to miracles. So you got two cards here kind of just talking about changing the way things have been, and you got take action, 
right? And believe in the impossible. So if this person comes, like what we have to understand that sometimes situations, people, ways of being, whatever, patterns, behaviors, thoughts are just comfortable because they're familiar, but it doesn't mean they're serving us, right? So I just feel like there's something here you know isn't serving you, whether it's this person, the situation, the people that they're involved with, whatever it is. Um, and it's a time for healing for you, Leo. So let's see. These could be initials of you or this person. No numbers today. Um, take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got B, L, D, C, Y, and Z, or Z. Okay, Leo, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energies. Sending you so much love and light.